Hi, in this Out of School Care Network tutorial we're just going to show you how to make a drafts board very quickly. Uh, lots of cool games you can play on a drafts board and uh, you might want more than one so you can have plenty of kids playing at the same time. This board uh, is black and white but I thought we might make a different coloured one so we'll make a purple and white board. Okay, so you need a square of paper. It needs to be square or your squares are not going to turn out square, they're going to turn out more like rectangles. So we need some guidelines for our drawing. To do that we just fold our paper in half and in half again. So we end up with lines going this way. That's given us four lines. Actually need eight so I just need to just do that. And up again and give it a good crease. Good crease there, okay? And repeat the other one. Boom. Fold. See how. When we pull it out, there's our guidelines for drawing our board. Makes it quite a quick and simple process to basically get these lines going. One. Doesn't matter that they're not perfectly straight. Homemade stuff is always a bit wonky. You can take a bit longer with this if you want it, but really, kids mostly want to do things quickly. Get the game happening as fast as you can. So, this is. Other ones in this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And then simply shading in. And then in the next row, obviously going alternate. So we're creating a checkerboard pattern. So, and presto, here's our checkerboard ready to go. Okay, let's look at what we can play with this drafts board. Uh, aside from traditional drafts, there are some quite cool different games you can play using the same board. This one is called Fox and Hounds. And basically you have one player, say Red, who is the fox. And the other player is the hound. So we've got the blue counters representing the hounds, the red representing the fox. You could play on the light or the dark spaces, but both players play on the same colour of space, just like in a game of drafts. I think we'll put the pieces onto the light spaces, then they're a bit easier to see. Uh, the object of the game is for the fox to get past the hounds to the other side of the board, well basically through the hounds. The hounds can only move forwards as if it was a game of drafts. So the hounds can move one space on their turn, any counter, forward. So diagonally and so on. The fox has a slightly different uh, movement. Again, they can move, they must stay on the white spaces uh, and they can move, must move diagonally, but they can move forwards or backwards. They can always go backwards. The hounds can only go forwards, the fox can go forwards or backwards. Uh, the fox can start on any square of their choosing and they have the first move. So the object is for the hounds to move in such a way that they block the fox from progressing to the other side of the board. Here comes the fox already. And 
hounds are advancing. Now the fox can go backwards, remember. So they're going to try and slip around the side. But this hound is not to be fooled. Unfortunately, now the hound can't go backwards. The hound has been tricked to the side. There's no other moves really for the hounds to make. And the fox has passed through. Let's try that again one more time. Watching the edges is quite important. Keeping no gaps is quite important too. And of course keeping your pieces still. There's no jumping in the game either. So at this point the fox has to move. So they have to move backwards. The hound just needs to stay still. The fox can come here. The hound simply stays where they are. So the fox, again, must move. You start to see the fox is starting to run out of options there. In fact, the hound is coming around this side. Now what will the fox do? Well, the fox is going to try and run right around the outside. And they might just about have done it because this piece has come too far forward. Now I think the hounds are in trouble again. But you can sort of see how it plays out. Anyway, that's fox and hounds. Very simple, just need four pieces. And the opposing fox. And the fox always goes first. Let's look at something else, shall we? If your kids are familiar with drafts, they might want to try this different game using a drafts board and similar kinds of pieces. This is called Breakthrough. You'll see the pieces are set up 16 per side, 16 blue, 16 red, and two lines. Kind of like how chess pieces are set up at the start of a chess game. Movement in the game is quite simple. You either move one space forward or one space diagonally just one piece. The object of the game is to get one of your pieces all the way to the other side of the board. I'll turn to play blue all the way to this side of the board. Yep. That's it. Uh, you capture pieces when you move diagonally. So, straight ahead or diagonal. Straight ahead or diagonal. Now, capturing simply works like this. If we get a piece ready, there. Red may capture blue diagonally. Blue comes off the board. Blue may of course in turn capture red with either of these pieces. We will do it with this piece there. And so the game goes on. Remembering again, you can move diagonally or straight ahead. And part of the strategy in the game would seem to be to keep your pieces in blocks try and stop the other player from getting through. Uh, interestingly what can happen is when two pieces are opposite each other one can simply move around it. Um, Blue's just done it there and managed to get out to the edge of the board maybe with a bit of a gap um, to get through there. Red's turn again. Red needs to defend this area here. Of course now, blue can slip in here. And that's quite a strong position now because there's an empty space there. Um, so red would defend by doing this. Now if blue doesn't take red, red will simply take blue the next turn. So blue's got a bit trapped. And that's the game. You play right through until um, someone has managed to get a piece to the other side of the board. That's called breakthrough.